U.S. putting the pressure on Hamas to accept a ceasefire deal in Gaza ahead of a planned visit to Israel. It comes as the U.S. says it's determined that Israeli military units committed human rights violations before the October 7th attack. Fox Eyes Chris Welch joins us now with the very latest. Chris. Yeah, Steve and Natasha, according to the State Department, the violations did not occur in Gaza. But nonetheless, the determination that Israel's army committed human rights violations at all is a stunning condemnation from the United States. The White House is facing new pressure Monday to cut funding to parts of Israel's military over human rights abuses. After a careful process, uh, we found uh, five um, Israeli units uh, responsible for individual incidents of uh, gross violations of human rights. Um, all of these were incidents uh, much before uh, October 7th, and none uh, took place in Gaza. Under a federal law called the Leahy Act, the U.S. military is required to withhold weapons and training from any foreign military with these accusations levied against them. The State Department says four of the five units are in remediation, but did not indicate there are any plans to pull funding. It is not have bearing on the broader security relationship that we may have with a country, especially a country like Israel, in which we have a long-standing security relationship. The news comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Saudi Arabia discussing a potential ceasefire in Gaza with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Blinken is pressuring Hamas to accept the latest proposal by calling it, quote, extraordinarily generous on the part of Israel. However, details of the latest proposal have not been made public. We got to get to this hostage deal so we can get to a ceasefire, get that all important, continue to get that humanitarian aid into Gaza. Over the weekend, President Joe Biden spoke with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for what the White House says was just shy of an hour long phone call. And on that call, they say Biden addressed ongoing concerns about Israel's intent to invade Rafah, the southern Gaza city that Netanyahu says is the last Hamas stronghold in the region. But it's also where more than half of Gaza. Gaza's 2.3 million people are sheltering from Israel's blasts. We heard the sound of screams. We went out to see what happened. Our neighbors had been bombed. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to visit Israel this week. And while there, he is expected to once again address the urgent need for Israel to do more to address humanitarian concerns in Gaza. Steve, back right. to you. Thanks, Chris.